A Google smartwatch could begin mass production in the next couple of months. Retailers prove that they can't wait for the launch of the Nexus 5 with pre-registration somehow beginning. And the Motorola Project Aura promises modular smartphones in the future. I'm Jaime Rivera. And how about some modular cell phone plans because I really want to get rid of those SMS text messages that are free that I don't really use and get some free data. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as we did get a Google event today, but it was not about the Nexus lineup, so I'm sure a lot of you are annoyed as much as we are. But the point is that we get a new Hangouts application. It should roll to your devices in the next couple of days, and the whole point here is that everything is moving to the whole leaked images that we got a 4.4 KitKat where SMS messages get merged to Hangouts aside from GIF amigations or GIF amigations, whatever you want to call them, etc, etc. So make sure you stay tuned for the new app, as apparently it is cool. And speaking of smartphones that have not been announced but that carriers cannot wait to start selling you, WinMobile has just begun their pre-registration form for the Google Nexus 5. So yeah, you can pre-register for this phone now, apparently you will be able to get it there, but still speaking of that, it seems that WinMobile is not the only carrier that's talking about this phone as Sprint will apparently get a Google Nexus 5 after the whole fiasco of the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. So hopefully they figured out CDMA now and you won't have to be waiting for software updates. And speaking of Google, we've got new reports that the company is hard at work in trying to start mass production of their future smartwatch, which we still don't know what to make of, don't know what to expect, but apparently Google is working hard on figuring out the battery life of this watch in order for you not to have to pull a Galaxy Gear on it and have to charge it every single day. Apparently they want a week of charge or something like that of the sort, but still, we wonder what exactly is Google planning to bring to the smartwatch to make it unique and better than everything we already have that don't want to buy. Now let's move the spotlight over to Motorola as apparently the company has just leaked the name of their future Moto smartphone. It's going to be called the Moto G. And why Moto G is this a lesser phone than the Moto X is hard to tell. Hopefully that is not the case because a lot of us really like the Moto X and everything except for the camera. So a lower end Moto is not going to cut it, trust me. But again, this was just the leak of the name on the website. We don't have any specifications on this phone or details. So hopefully we will be getting a better phone. I just try to understand what the G stands for. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we learned about Motorola's Project Aura, the whole concept that we found recently to be pretty much everything that we saw in the whole phone blocks concept that was leaked a couple of months ago. Uh, phone blocks allows you to replace specific portions of your phone and not have to throw the whole thing away, meaning if your camera is already dated, you can just swap the camera. And if the RAM on your phone is already dated, you can just swap the RAM and your storage, etc, etc. Which is really interesting as Motorola apparently has been working on this for a full year. And still we don't know exactly what to expect, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would you be interested in a modular smartphone, something where you can replace one thing or the other? In my particular case, I would like the idea as long as it's affordable, number one. And number two, that it doesn't look as ugly as we see in these concept photos because why don't they just make that internally and make the back cover replaceable so that we can get a replaceable battery as well that's not necessarily modular included in the package, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.